a new multiplayer map, customization for Halo 3 and Reach, some Firefight updates, and some new games getting added to the custom game browser, and a whole lot more coming for the Season 8 flight. Want to know everything? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as we do every Friday, we get a development update of the MCC. Last couple weeks have been pretty light on the news, guys, but this week has been a big news drop. Let us know the content we're going to be seeing for the Season 8 flight. With some awesome new additions and some long-awaited features, this is going to be a really great season for us, guys. So if you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite as well on December 8th, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. All right, no time for introductions, guys. So I get right into this news because there is a ton of stuff to go over this development update posted by Postums right over here on 343's website, Halo Waypoint. And guys, there's a lot of good stuff in here. The current status of Season 8 flight is that it's in Ring 1 testing. And from my experience of following these flights ever since they started, generally it means about two weeks away from an actual flight happening. Though it could be even less, obviously depending on the blockers and errors that they come across. But look at this long list of things coming in for season eight, guys. Like this is an awesome list of greatness coming for us, guys. So let's just get right into it. First one is reach firefight update to include firefight voice previews, more granular body type and voice. Two, Halo 3 ODST Firefight update to include per wave customization options, bring it up to closer to Reach's options. Here's a big one, the custom game browser for Combat Evolved and Halo 3, as well as phase two implementations, which include updates to filters, search options, and overall improvements to create browse and session detail page. Halo Combat Evolved is seeing the return of the classic HUD with 4K support and toggle in settings as well, which is amazing. Give you those classic Combat Evolved feels. View model offsets for weapons across all the MCC games. We covered this in a previous video as well. If you wanna check that one out, video's on the channel here, guys. Here's a change of pace right here. Season eight customization content targeted for Halo 3, which is standard, but also Halo Reach, which includes new armor, nameplates, visors, bag accessories, weapon, and vehicle skins, and a whole lot more. That's amazing. Some more customization outside of Halo 3 is what a lot of people have wanted. Next, all new campaign collectibles in Halo 3's campaign. That's pretty interesting to see what they added to the campaign for collectibles. I would definitely like to look into that. Campaign customization for Halo CE and 3 to allow vehicle and weapon skins when selecting options. I know that's a feature people have been wanting for a lot. I've actually wanted this feature as well. Definitely looking forward to that. And of course, there's gonna be a toggle option. This one's big for you PC players. File share now available for for PC platform with the ability to set trust levels for saving files, official, friend, untrusted kind of stuff, and an option to report inappropriate files as well. Thank God, this is gonna help out so much with the custom game browser for me being a PC player. Player reporting has been added to additional areas including scoreboards and post-match. Accessibility features include improved subtitles like size, color, shadow, and background color and all new colorblind options. Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary has seen performance improvements in campaign in remastered visuals. That's really nice. A lot of times I get drops below 60 and I definitely shouldn't with that game. Here's a really big one, guys. A new map for Halo 3 called Icebox has been added, which is a remake of the classic Halo 2 map, Turf. We're gonna get into that in a bit as well. And such a huge quality of life improvement, Steam account linking is now available on your player profile to see your Steam friends in game. Thank you. So guys, this update, for MCC is looking to be a pretty dang big update. I am crazy excited for this update now. Like I thought season seven's update was pretty good. I'm not like super excited about like the elite customization, but I'm glad it's there for you dino boys out there. But seeing all these features coming into the MCC guys is absolutely awesome. So what is the map Icebox? Well, I actually had a chance to play it back when you were like allowed to make content and stream Halo online for like those two weeks way back then. And guys, Icebox is a pretty close to true recreation of turf in from Halo 2, put in the Halo 3 and the guys, like the graphics on this map look absolutely incredible. The art style is so cool. It doesn't look like super stylized or like new age kind of Halo look. It looks like something you would probably see like 
in Halo 3. Obviously with a little bit more detail, a bit more kind of different kind of coloration to it. It definitely stands out from like the color palette from the rest of the Halo maps within Halo 3, but this one doesn't really stand out so much as like Edge does or something like that. And guys, trust me, like you're gonna really like Icebox. It's a really cool addition. And finally seeing some more customization coming to the MCC beyond just like Halo 3 essentially. Like we're getting some Halo Reach customization, which if it says includes armor, nameplates, visors, back accessories and things like that, it's like basically all the customization from Halo 3 stuff coming over the Reach now? Or is it just kind of like Reach is also getting some things like maybe new nameplates and visors, but maybe not new armor? Again, as soon as we know more details, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. And PC file share and Steam account linking for me as a Steam player on PC is such a huge quality of life improvement, guys. I am super excited about this. It's been really hard to like have people join my games recently ever since the Season 7 update. So hopefully having Steam account linking in there as well will help kind of make it a little bit easier for people to join in for you. And it's so awesome to see Combat Evolved and Halo 3 getting added into the custom game browser as well. It's letting you know that it's looking to be in a pretty good state, so the other games should probably will be coming in next season as well. I'm definitely excited to be hosting like a Blood Gulch 24-7 playlist, guys, on CE. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be reuniting my childhood dreams of playing large-scale battles on freaking Blood Gulch, guys. Oh, I used to play that map all the time back in the day. Back when I was assistant linking with my friends, like literally all we do is just play Blood Gulch CTF all night long. And of course, Halo 3 has so many iconic custom games, race maps, and just all these amazing things with it. So seeing it coming in as well, it's pretty much gonna be essentially kind of completing the custom game browser when you add in Halo 3 and Reach. Like that's really all you need. Another feature people have been requesting of the MCC is by going to the original HUD that we had back on the original console. If you guys know that the version of CE that we play on the MCC is actually the PC port from Gearbox, which has some unique aspects to it to say the least. And you can see right here on these side-by-side -side images and how the UI just looks totally different. Like it's it's very similar and like you don't notice it at first but when you see it side by side you, you definitely start noticing the differences and just having that classic HUD just kind of gives you that same feel of playing CE once again which is kind of the idea of the MCC. But do we have a release date kind of for the upcoming flight? Not really at the moment right now. Like you said, they're currently in ring one. And so again, I would probably put it about, maybe about two weeks from now, maybe a week from now, we actually get a chance to put our hands into season eight's flight. Again, as soon as any kind of information comes up or when the flight will come around, guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you miss any content or you're new to the channel, guys, make sure you check out the playlist right here for my Halo news playlist to keep you up to date with everything going on with Halo. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.